Hello and welcome to Manny Bass Tutorials. This is Manny Bass, your number one bass teacher. <laughs> In today's lesson, we are going to learn about artificial harmonics, what they are, how to play them, and how to use them. So first of all, um, recap. Last time we were looking at natural harmonics and we learned that um, natural harmonics can only be played over certain frets and we also learned that uh, natural harmonics don't always match the fretted note. Now, artificial harmonics on the other hand have a huge advantage and that is the fact that they always match the fretted note. The only problem uh, with artificial harmonics is that it's a little harder to pull them off, okay? So, how to play artificial harmonics? Well, you only need to do three simple things. The first thing you need to do is fret the note that you want to play as a harmonic. So let's say I want to play uh, C, okay? Well, first thing is to fret the C. So I'm going to fret the C with my left hand, right? Now. I, uh, the second step is to move up 12 frets, okay, so I'm in fret number 3, I'm going to move up 12 frets, that's going to be number 15, so 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I end up in fret number 15. The second thing is to put the tip or the side of your thumb directly over that fret, okay, and then the third thing to do is to pluck with uh, any finger you want to use in your right hand. That's it, all right? So three steps. Step number one, fret the nose. So somebody says, hey, you think you're all that, huh? Well, why don't you play F sharp? But as a harmonic, you say, challenge accepted. You, <laughs> you, uh, you fret the F sharp, you go up 12 frets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, Second thing is to put the tip or the side of your thumb directly over that second fret and then plug away. That's it. That's a F sharp. Okay. Uh, let's play a D. Okay, well, this is fret number five. Five plus 12 is 17, so I'm going to go down to fret number 17, which is here. I'm gonna put the tip or side of my thumb and then I'm going to plug away. All right, that's it, All right? Pretty simple. Now, let's say somebody says, hmm, okay. Well, why don't you play A in the 12th fret, right? But as our artificial harmonic. Well, that's gonna be a little hard, right? Because if I go down 12 frets, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops. I ran out of space. Do I give up? No, you can actually create artificial harmonics beyond the fretboard. Uh, you just need to start uh, experimenting a little bit. So this is an A, right? Well, you can just keep moving your thumb down and plucking until you find the A. You have to have a good ear for that though. Memorize that sound, right? Okay, is that, no? That sounds like a good harmonic. Okay, so I found it, right? Right here, like two or three fingers after the fingerboard. You can keep going down. I found another harmonic here. So you see, and I found another one. So you can keep doing that and then sort of use uh, your bass geography as a tell. I found another one right behind the neck pickup. All right, so that's something else to keep in mind. Okay, so now how can we use them? Well, you can use them however you want, pretty much. What I like to do personally is uh, play ar arpeggios. So if someone is, you know, if the guitar player or the piano player is playing a minor chord like let's say A minor I will play the chord tones uh, so you can do it let's say you can do that over the chord right as it plays so 
So I'm gonna do this. This is a minor arpeggio. So I will do the same thing, but down here an octifier with the tip of the uh, thumb. So this is fret number five, so I'm gonna do it in fret number 17. So, all right, that's a minor arpeggio. If instead they're playing a major arpeggio, do the same thing, but you know, here. So this is fret number three. Well, I'm gonna go to fret number 15, right? Or if some, if you wanna sort of play the chord tones, Say you want to do, well, you can do that down here, right? Now, a really good question to ask is when should I use um, artificial or natural harmonics? Well, um, if you're playing a song that is really fast, I don't recommend um, playing harmonics because people might not be able to appreciate them. Like if you're playing something that's like super fast, yeah, like it's, people are just not gonna have, to, they're not gonna have time to listen to hear the harmonic. But if you're playing a song, you know, that it's at a moderate or slow pace, or maybe at the beginning of a song before everything starts building up, or at the end of a song, when you want to wrap everything up, I think that's a good time to use uh, harmonics. I have this habit, um, let's say a song ends on a major chord. I always like to end a song like that. So if the song is in G major and it's gonna end, I like to end it that way. So. You can do that too, but with the harmonics, right? So, so do that same thing, right? But as a natural harmonic, so. Hey, that guy's awesome, All right? <laughs> so I hope this was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends about it uh, so they can watch these videos and become kick-ass bass players. <laughs> so again, thank you for watching. Any base.